<laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my word. This just showed up on my front porch. It is so big. I can't even get it in my camera. It's like huge. All right. What is it you say? What is it? It is exclusive scrapbook.com products. Wait, 50 new products right here, people. You want to see what's inside? Let's look at what's inside. <laughs> Gotta have pop rocks. Holy beautiful. I believe this is called the large stadium organizer. Come to mama. Okay, here's another craft room solution. It is like the tall sticker storage, but it's not as tall. So maybe like medium height sticker storage. Oh, mother of all glitter paper. We have six by eight glitter paper, mixed metals and rainbow. Six by eight peppermint. We have A2 rainbow glitter. A2 Peppermint. We have Slimline Rainbow Mixed Metal Glitter and Peppermint. Are you feeling a theme here? Are you feeling a Christmas theme? Mixed Metal A2. Pocket Cards for Days. This one's called Dogs. I bet this one's called Cat. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. How adorable is that? I rule the house, don't they though? This one's called Cruise. Very cool. This one's called Memorial. Very sweet. This one's called Family. Love it already. This one's called Growing Up. Ah, oh, great graphics. Yeah, pocket cards for days. I love sticker books. Not only are these sticker books, but they're filled with alpha pages as well. So you have rainbow, black and white, peppermint Christmas, preppy, the 80s called, they want their stickers back, and jewel. Yes, you are gonna be seeing these in all kinds of places. ColourPop, beautiful, gorgeous. Let's go through them all because we have to talk about all the ColourPop. I've recently showed you champagne. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, but wait, there's pearl, rose, gold, glitter, silver. I mean, it's just saying, this is saying Halloween and Christmas, by the way. This one's glitter snowflake, just a great iridescent glitter happening here. Glitter in gold. Rudolph Red, and of course, Holly Green. Brand new pops of color. This is one I've been waiting for, the Metallic Rose Gold Ink Pad. And don't forget your re-inker. There are new six by eight stencils, jack-o'-lanterns, super fun. Ugh, oak leaves. Give me all the oak leaves. And bats. Yep, we're having fun this fall. Okay, we have stacks and stacks and stacks of dies and stamps. Let's take a look. New dies include this Uptown. It is a handwritten font. Uptown numbers go right with that. Typewriter, gorgeous. Oh, so much fun. We're having fun. Typewriter numbers. And then downtown number and letter set combined. Let's talk about new stamps. Vintage cookbook, yep, it's gonna be used a lot this Christmas for some makes. Memories, beautiful, fun sentiments. Gorgeous, cute cursive, this one's called. Don't you love that? Merry Little Christmas, fun Christmas seasonal stamps. Oh, and the recipe card maker, of course, has to go with the vintage cookbook. Sweet Expressions, uh, this, I have been waiting for this one. I love the mix font. Handwritten script and then the typewriter font, mix and match. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Oh, and these are 
just too gorgeous. These are slimline scrapbook.com stamps. Two stamps. You get the big sentiment here, the fa -la, la and this beautiful botanical print. This one is a big hello, thinking of you. Goes right along with this floral montage. And then another seasonal. This doesn't have to just be for Christmas. This is great for all our wintry sentiments and cards. A big ho, ho, ho on this side. Well, I guess that's kind of Christmassy. Take back what I said. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then all these snowflakes, which are pretty timeless for all the winter things. Okay, here's the thing. Now that this unboxing has been completely revealed, I want to challenge myself a little bit. And I think I want to take like a an item from each of the categories of product and try and fit them all into one project. As soon as I saw the family pocket cards, I had an idea and I was I want to use this as a prompt. So using it as a prompt, I'm going to make a mini album. I, I think I want to incorporate as many of these cards as possible in the mini album, but wait, there's more. I want to also take the sweet expressions and the memories stamps. I think these would work beautifully in a family album. So these are going to find their way in this project as well. Uh, alphabet dies for sure. I just don't know which ones. I'm super partial to the typewriter and I also love this uptown. So I don't know, maybe both. Mixed metals. I think I can find a way to get these mixed metals to play nicely with the family cards. Let's see. I think I can do it. Um, and then just kind of the vibe, even though these are it pulled together, several photos from this year, several family photos that just came to mind as I was kind of thinking through this. And I don't know, I think maybe I can make the oak leaves work. What do you think? Is that everything? Oh no, wait, one more thing. Sticker book. All right, let's go. So the family is forever is going to be my cover. And then I'm going to work in these four by six cards with these photos as well. And then I'm also going to work in these smaller cards. I'm not quite sure yet because if I'm going to do this, how the journaling portion is going to work. The back of a lot of these cards has a journaling section, but we'll see. You know, nothing is in stone. And here's how I'm going to bind it. I have the new We Are Memory Keepers mini cinch. How cute is this cinch? So I'm going to bind it with the cinch and it's almost going to kind of have this brag book kind of vibe to it. I love it. I can't wait. So I'm going to start by gathering my photos and start putting some things in order. Music